the latest producer price index is out, and it underscores why it is much too early to declare victory in the fight against soaring prices. Headline PPI for November came in at 7.4% year-over-year, higher than the 7.2% figure that had been projected by economists. 7.4% is the slowest annual pace we've seen PPI increase since May 2021. But slow is a relative term when you're talking about the worst period of inflation in nearly half a century. What stands out in particular about November's PPI is the acceleration in core prices over October. Core PPI, which like all core inflation measures, excludes food and energy, rose 0.4% on a monthly basis in November. Not only is that a big jump over the 0.1% monthly pace registered in October, it's twice the increase that had been estimated by economists. Core PPI rose faster than economists' expectations on a year-over-year -year basis as well. An increase of 5.9% had been projected, but the annual number came in at 6.2%. Other components of PPI also showed clear signs of acceleration over October. The cost of services jumped 0.4% in November after inching up just 0.1% the previous month. More startling were the monthly surges in food prices at the producer level. The overall food index jumped 3.3% in November after rising just 0.8% in October. The index for fresh and dry vegetables in particular was stunning after already jumbo size increases of 15.7% in September and 22.4% in October. Fresh vegetables leapt an extraordinary 38.1% for the month, just the month of November. And that is going to hit you hard at the supermarket. Commenting on last month's surge in food prices, Kurt Rankin, senior economist at PNC, said, With food PPI rising strongly in November, one can be sure to see continued upward pressure on household grocery bills, as those producer prices are passed on to the retail level. Recent inflation numbers have offered hope that some relief from long-standing price pressures could be possible. For example, another key inflation measure, the Core Personal Consumption Expenditures Index, rose a modest 0.2% in October after jumping 0.5% in September. However, let there be no misunderstanding. As one analyst from Morgan Stanley points out, November's PPI report is yet another reminder of how sticky inflation is and that it will take time before we see it normalize. So even if inflation does slightly slow, it's not likely that your supermarket experience is going to change in 2023.